starts now with a breaking news alert. Breaking overnight. When I came outside, I looked across the street here at uh, Grossbeck, you know, looking that general direction, and there was nothing but fireballs. An enormous industrial fire. Hundreds of explosions heard from miles away. With all that going on, it was not safe. We had to have people back out and basically let it kind of just blow itself up. What we know this morning about injuries, the cause, and the extensive cleanup underway. Well, that breaking news from overnight continues as crews work to put out this massive industrial fire in Clinton Township. Now, there were hundreds of explosions, some felt for miles away. Good morning and thank you so much for joining us. I'm Keenan Smith and I'm Kiara Hay. Now reports of the fire in the area of 15 in Grossbeck first came in just before nine last night. We were live on air at the time and we watched as it played out. But just take a listen to what it sounded like. That video just incredible. People in the area reported loud explosions, even strong enough to shake cars and houses. Yeah, it sounds like fireworks, doesn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. Well, the smoke could be seen billowing high into the sky, and that sparked major concerns about air quality. Well, thankfully, fire investigators tell us this morning that there is no threat to the air across Macomb County. Now we have Team 7 coverage this morning. 7 Action News reporter Whitney Burney and Peter Maxwell are both there live on the scene. And 7 traffic anchor Allie Hoxie is monitoring road closures. But let's kick things off with Whitney. Whitney, walk us through what we've learned overnight. Hey, you two, as we've been reporting, this blast could be heard for miles. And this morning, we're still hearing it actively going on. Lots of police lights and fire crews still here on scene. And if you take a look here behind me, you can see an orange glow still around that building. Additionally, there's still a little bit of white smoke billowing above the building. You can see tons of debris within this area. It blasting again for up to a mile away. We did learn that there were hundreds of explosions happening inside this building. Fire crews say it sent canisters flying. We know that there were four people inside of the building at the time, but they got out once they heard some cracking noises. One of those canisters did fly through the windshield of one of the fire engines on scene here overnight, hitting a firefighter. Investigators believe glass was the primary cause of his injuries, but that firefighter was checked out at a nearby hospital and is expected to recover. We also know there was a pedestrian in the area that was injured, hit with a propane tank part. Police say a company called goo is inside the building where this happened. They're a supplier for vape parts, so there's a lot of butane and propane inside of their building. Fire crews say this was one of the most challenging fires they've seen in years. They weren't able to get it completely subdued until after midnight, but as we know, some of that fire has again sparked this morning. As you see on the road, we've already suffered between the fire department and police department um, numerous damage to uh, our vehicles. We have numerous flat tires, and when a flat tire happens on one of these uh, fire engines or ladder trucks, you're basically stuck in the water right now. So we're trying to get those repaired so we can get them back in operational. Again, still a very active scene out here this morning. You can still see some of that white smoke billowing above the building. Chief Tim Duncan says there were also some fuel fires on nearby railroad tracks, but those have been extinguished. This morning they were asking folks to avoid this area, but we have since seen some cars coming through here on 15 mile. We're not sure if the road is completely open as there are still some barricades at Grossbeck, but again, we have seen some traffic starting to go through. As you can see this van here behind me, investigators are expected to be here for at least a few more hours. Reporting here in Clinton Township, Whitney Burney, 7 Action News. Well, our crews, uh, Whitney, were there, of course, last night, and, you know, they were talking to people about the explosions that you just talked about and the falling debris. Absolutely. 7 Action News reporter Peter Maxwell continues our live coverage right now. So, Peter, people felt this from miles away miles away and the one thing that was also in there besides a butane and propane tanks were these nitrogen tanks right here you can see these little guys i'm not going to touch them because the shrapnel is very sharp these things were basically missiles launching through the air launching through that box truck right there and the folks that our station spoke with last night as this was all playing out say they were fearful for their safety and well-being Jeffrey Corby lives very close to where the explosions were taking place. He went outside to go check it out himself and couldn't believe what he was seeing. When I came outside, I looked across the street here at uh, 
Grossbeck, you know, look in that general direction, and then there was nothing but fireballs. I was about concerned about getting my kids out of the house and getting shrapnel thrown at my house. And Johnny Kaufman sent us this drone video of the explosions happening from the air. And back on the ground, Terrence McFadden, who lives six miles away, heard the booms, saw what was happening on social media, and came down to investigate, and he described what he saw and felt. Once I got close here in the car, it, you could feel like the uh, concussive force. I don't know if, uh, I guess the best way I could describe it would be like a low-frequency bass. I started hearing um, just loud echoing booms, and then I assumed it may have been something with equipment. And once again, just taking a look back there, you can still see that orange glow of a fire right in the crater of that what used to be a building. A lot of debris still here throughout the area. Please be careful if you do plan on walking. This shrapnel is very sharp. Reporting in Clinton Township, I'm Peter Maxwell, 7 Action News. All right, thank you so much, Peter. Well, of course, uh, the cleanup is still underway there. In fact, they're still putting out hot spots, uh, but the blaze even away from that is being felt in the morning drop. Absolutely. Let's head over to 7 traffic anchor Ali Hoxie, who's been monitoring the roads for us this morning. Ali, what roads are closed right now? Well, Kira, we still have 15 mile close, so this is in between Beaconsfield and Kelly that we have lanes closed. Now our crews on scene tell me that they're seeing barricades up, but traffic still driving around those barricades to get through. So please do not do that. Let crews work in that area. You have 14 miles to the south to the north. You have Metro Parkway you can use instead. As for Grossbeck here, you see it's now shaded in green. We are back open on Grossbeck as part of the morning commute. However, if you would still like to avoid the area just in case, you have Grashet that runs parallel to the east. All right, thank you so much, Allie. Of course, there are still a lot of unanswered questions for people who live and work in that area, and we're going to be out there all day long. We invite you to stay with us both on air and online at WXYZ.com for continuing coverage.